Hello everyone, welcome back by Hopster Coding. Today we're gonna cover counting with variables. Um, I'm gonna give you some more tips and some stuff you can do with the variables led with the previous tutorial. So let's make a new class. I'm gonna call it variables counting. Okay. <coughs> like that. <coughs> We're gonna make the main method public static void main string orgs like that. For now just um copy it. Like I will explain later on the tutorials if we're talking about methods and functions. Um you will understand it easily why it's called public static avoid and the name main and the other stuff behind the parentheses they will explain p later um <coughs> so we want to count with variables what that's what you want to do the most of the time with variables store stuff in it and use it somewhere else so let's create some numbers number one is one and number two is two and number x is fifteen I don't know so let's say we want to say number one is equals to number two what's going to happen now number one has one number two has two actually it's just saying one number one the variable number one is going to be equal to number two just the one is going to disappear and number one will be number two right now so if we print this out you can see number one plus number two like that so if you want to print if you print this out like two integers it will automatically add them up but if you add an empty string an empty field of text like this just like that it will just print them separately you can fix this by doing parentheses around the around the both numbers so they will will be counted together. As you can see, um, number one will be two two now. As you can see. So we can also count in another way, like let's just create a num number number not number int number integer is zero no let's take it one um let's say number is equal to number one multiplied by number two you're gonna do it like this plus number X I can see <coughs> you can add a bunch of these if you want let's change it to number like let's place them so it's better to understand like that so you want to you got a number number is one and you want the same number and you're gonna plus with number one multiply with number two which will be not two but four because you changed number one to number two so it will be both two so you're gonna say number one is two it's just in uh, some comments so you can read it so what you're basically gonna do is you wanna have the number we're gonna add the same number by four. 
you it's actually the same by uh, you're gonna use the same number and just add it by four like you want to print this out dot out dot print line print line and you're gonna say number this is gonna say five number see here's because it's two multiplied by two is four and the number is one and just gonna store it in the same variable so it's gonna be five if you want to run this again and you're gonna print again like that <coughs> it's gonna say nine because it already was five so there was five inside now and you're gonna add it with two multiplied by two which is four four plus five is nine there's also another way to do this by saying number not equal we're gonna say plus equal and then number one uh, number two just like that watch this actually do is it replaces this just by adding a plus sign in front of the that so let's hide this for a second so we're gonna do use copy it right there and copy it right there you're gonna delete that so what happens if you run it now you'll see just the same just because this is equals to this um, you can do it the same for like number multiplied by number 2 so now it's actually the same as N number is equal to number multiplied by number 2 yeah that's how it basically works so you can make it a lot smaller just with placing a sign right there it works by them all you can do just by dividing or subtracting doesn't matter so how can you use uh, it else so let's say you want to ex execute some code and after each comment you want to count let's, let's say you got a counter you got a counter is zero so let's say you executed it zero times it's zero and if every time you want to execute this code it's it's not going to be handy right now but if you got some loops you can place it at the end of the loop and every time the loops execute you will add up the counter like one you can say counter plus plus <coughs> but you also got plus plus counter what's the difference between this um, counter plus plus actually just to counter is equal to counter plus one or counter plus equal one you can just say counter plus plus it's it's used in loops to count uh, how many times the loops is is used but what's now the difference between counter plus plus and plus plus counter um let's let's print these like that and like that so what's basically gonna happen now just got the previous you got zero and two yeah two you read it good two so we print the counter so you're gonna print the counter which is zero but the plus plus behind the counter which means actually add one after the comment so when it's it's running like system dot out dot print line it's reading the counter it's gonna pick the no, the zero and it's gonna place the zero right here and then it's gonna print oh it and then it reads the plus plus and it thinks oh okay then we're gonna execute till we find the semicolon and then we're gonna add and then we're gonna add the counter plus one once you read the semicolon that's how it works with plus plus behind the, uh, the variable how it works with a plus plus before the, the variable is just 
the opposite. So it's gonna print this. It says plus plus in front. It says oh, I have to add it before I print something. So it's gonna add one, but it already was one because after this comment, then it's gonna add another one which is two, and then it's gonna print it. That's basically how it works with the plus plus stuff. Um, yeah, if you want to calculate some more, just be free to send some uh, stuff you made to me. I will check it out, see if something can do better, easier, faster. Yeah, that's about it. So, don't forget to like and subscribe, and bye.